rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities. Ooh. But when you really analyze it, every question and Mommy. is constrained by previous choices. Her voice is so nice. I'll never get sick of listening to Kafka. Sword and gun? Hell yeah. So apparently she has contacts, that's why you can't see her pupils. Yeah, at the end of her, um, at the end of the current, uh, story when you s meet her, she's, you can see her pupils, like, she's missing her lenses. And I'm assuming Blade? Blade? Oh! Oh, this is, these are new areas! Blady, Blady, Blady. I'm only calling him that now because Kafka. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Release your full potential. <gasps> oh yeah. You carry is the key to opening a way through to the Yo, Moses. Has come in here and triggered your memory. What happens next? Oh. Your hands. Was that like a purple gorilla, lightning you, gorilla? You and you. All three of you are staying <gasps> right here. The karma of past lives. Yo, that's like that's Dan Hung, isn't it? Imaginary destruction? I think uh Hoyo showed that on their Twitter. Yeah. Ooh. Oh shit, yeah, she's the she's the freaking weekly boss, the new weekly boss, right? Yeah, hell yeah, dude, she looks sick. So that is the intro video. That 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 I'm excited for this. I'm very excited for this. 1.2 looking hella nice. Also, can we talk about how nice the chibis are? They're so well animated. Blade relies on Kafka's spirit whisper to suppress the Mara inside him. Yeah, spirit, that's what I meant to say. Spirit whisper to suppress the Mara inside him. Kafka could spirit whisper me any day of the week. Blade is a wind type game. Yeah, wind. Following the path of destruction. Nice. By consuming his own HP, he's able to deal greater damage to enemies. Okay. And I guess that's the risk. So like Alan, that. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's destruction in general, wasn't it? The Clara. Set amount of his own HP and, and initiates and Hellscape. Damage. While Hellscape is active, Blade deals greater damage and his basic attack is enhanced oh. from Shard Sword to Forest of Swords. Oh, and then I'm assuming that doesn't use is a single target attack, SP. Forest oh, he can, of Swords. He consumes HP, doesn't he? So he actually, yeah, he of course he doesn't use the SP, which is actually nice. That's like one of the benefits of like Arlen and, and um, Blade. Instead of, they're very SP efficient, which is nice. Nice. Deals damage to multiple enemies. I got a question. Can Blade still use his skill if his HP isn't enough to cover the uh, set amount? That's uh, a good In that situation, question. when Blade uses his skill, his HP decreases to one. Ooh, okay. That sounds a little dicey. But what if you use it when your HP is one? <laughs> Does it even work? A bit. Well, there's a silver lining. When Blade's HP decreases, his talent is triggered, granting him a charge. When charges oh. are fully stacked, Blade unleashes a follow-up attack on all enemies and recovers a set amount of HP. Oh, okay. When Blade unleashes okay. his ultimate, his HP is set to 50% of his max HP, and he deals massive damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. HP for damage, huh? Right. So he's kind of like Hu Tao, basically. He consumes his HP to do more damage. And he also has that talent when he has five stacks that he heals himself. So he he's kind of self-sufficient. You still you still need a healer with him though. I think. Interesting. No wonder he's uh, so indifferent to being healed. <laughs> and the more HP Blade loses, the more damage his ultimate deals. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blade's technique Karma Wind also consumes his HP and deals wind damage to all enemies after entering battle. When it comes to taking damage, Blade should be more afraid of himself than his enemies. Mm, this hurts me more than it hurts you. Ooh. <laughs> wow. New ultimate line. Well, man, I'll, I'll, I'll never get sick of Kafka's, Kafka's voice. I think her name Shiro was it the voice actor Shiro. Freaking amazing. His partner in crime, Kafka. Speaking of which, her, her glasses still annoy me. <laughs> like the fact, like they're too, they're too close. She puts them down. They're not gonna be over covering her eyes. Why, Kafka? I mean, it looks cool, I guess. <laughs> but my OCD. I do like the fact she's a sword and gun user. That is cool. And her her alt man, boom, like right here, right? Boom. 
Yeah, I love that. God, I can't wait to get her. I'm actually pulling for Kafka. Kafka's the one I'm going to be a pulling for. Kafka's face at this point in the story. Nihility, yeah, the Shiro Tixiera, yeah. She's a very talented voice actor. Also, Nihility Lightning, let's go. I'm going to pair up with my Sampo Kaski and Servo. So, Kafka was born on Teres 5, a planet that knows no fear. And literally, Kafka is unable to feel the emotion of fear. Oh. And therefore cannot comprehend the value of life. Oh. When Elio promised to bring about a change for her, she signed up without a second thought. Now, for someone who can't feel fear, she's pretty great at making okay. others feel it. <laughs> this scares you more than it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> you want me okay, interesting. So she literally can't feel fear. Huh. Interesting. Then what is the thing that Elio, like, proposed to her? Like, what was that change that she wants that Elio was gonna, is going to give her? Like... I wonder. That's interesting. So Kafka is a lightning type character following uh -huh. the path of nihility. Nah. And oh, okay. she nihility. can deal additional damage over time to enemies. Her skill deals lightning damage to multiple oh, targets. Cool. Oh, that's the weird. I love is it. Afflicted with DOT, they receive nice. an additional bout of DOT oh, damage. Oh, okay. So that is to say, a stacking if an effect, enemy basically. Is already afflicted with DOT, they receive additional damage both during their turn and after Kafka's attack. Does that does that include someone else's DOT? Like if I if I hit them with Sampo first and inflict Shear, so the wind damage damage the wind damage over time, does she get that effect? Um, does that does she get extra um, damage over time with that, or does it only proc with her own? That's the thing I'm not sure of. Or oh, unless they state it now. That's right. Not to mention, additional damage doesn't replace existing DOT. I mean, did you think Kafka was gonna take it easy on him? Come on. <laughs> and separately, after an ally uses a basic attack, Kafka will launch a follow-up attack. Oh. Kafka's ultimate, on the other hand, deals lightning damage to Wait. all enemies with Wait. a chance of shocking targets Ooh. and immediately dealing additional damage. No, to no, no, those no, hold on. She does a follow-up attack. After you do normal attacks, is that all the- wait, hold on, let me go back. Cause that's actually kinda- that's- that's really good. Wait, she's doing normal attack and she does more damage. Get easy on him, come on. Hold on. <laughs> and separately, after an ally uses a basic attack, Kafka will launch a follow-up attack. Oh Kafka's shit! ultimate? Yeah, that's- you just straight up get that. It's just normal attack, boom, extra damage. That's really cool. <laughs> that's- uh, that, that rewards you using normal attacks more, cause normal attacks give you SP, which makes her- oh damn. That also gives her a follow-up tag. That means you could play her with uh, with Elation in the Simulator Universe. Ooh, that's cool. On the other hand, huh. deals lightning damage to all enemies with a chance of shocking targets okay. and immediately dealing that's additional cool. damage to those already shocked. Awesome. Kafka's technique can attack all enemies within a set range oh. and deals lightning damage to all enemies after okay. entering battle. Cool. How elegant. Wow. Nice. <laughs> the born and bred Bella Bog hero, Luca. Oh, I for oh Luca. Oh, I completely forgot he existed. I I have his light cone too. So he's in nihility as well, right? Because the light cone is nihility. Oh, he has a fist, a gauntlet. Kind of like hook. Wait, no, hook like has a claw, right? I don't have hook. I wish I did. Okay, content and development. So that's the guy on the light cone. He looks cool. Mm -hmm. He looks a little different on the light cone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kafka. Luca is a physical type character following okay. the path of nihility. After multiple attacks, he's able to launch he's gonna be on Kafka's basic banner, attack. Isn't he? His skill deals physical damage to a single target and has a chance of inflicting bleed. During battle, oh. Luca can obtain fighting will through a variety of attacks. When fighting will reaches a certain number of stacks, Luca's basic attack is enhanced. Okay. His enhanced basic attack deals four hits of damage, with the final hit dealing additional damage to enemies currently inflicted with bleed. Oh, Kids today, okay. No respect. <laughs> when Luca unleashes his ultimate, in addition to dealing damage, he also obtains fighting will, and there's a chance of increasing fighting the will. target's damage received for a set number of turns. Oh, okay. Oh, so he shreds? Fist, ah, new light cones? Path of cool. Light cone. That looks cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't wish for these because I don't really see the point, at least not yet, but maybe in the future I might wish for them. Oh. 
Okay, that's a pretty light. Okay, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Ka dude, Kafka, Kafka's so freaking pretty. First phase of version 1.2 in the character. Oh, banners? Oh! Trail oh! can obtain the limited five star character Blade. Okay. Interesting. So, Blade is first. Arlen, Su Shang, and Natasha. Okay, I'm very sad because I want more Su Shangs because Su Shang is awesome. I really want E4 Su Shang because it increases that that that, that I, I don't want is crazy because E4 Su Shang increases um, her break effect by forty. That's just a free break effect by forty percent. That's 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 kind of crack. So mm, I'm not rolling for blades, but I could try get some Su Shangs maybe. Mm, it's a bit risky because I do want to get Kafka, who I'm assuming is after this. Yeah, Kafka, Trail awesome. Blazer. So I'm gonna be getting Kafka, but holy shit! Oh, Serval, Sampo, and the new guy. I forgot his name already. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a good battle. Both of them are really good, actually. All the characters are freaking amazing. I do want more Servals. I do want more Sampos. More constellations of them would be great. Oh, new weekly boss. Oh damn! Yo! <laughs> Wait, you attack her, Booba? Bruh, kind of rude. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, what? Wait, what is- wait, is that a different phase? Dude, she's freaking gorgeous, what the fuck? <laughs> she flicks you! <laughs> she flicks you, I love that. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Are these different phases? Does she have three different phases? Dude, she's Super Saiyan. Hold Holy shit! Hats, folks. Yeah, she has three it's different Vantilia phases. The Undying. Holy we shit. Of the power of both the destruction and the abundance. Oh, she's destruction and phase, abundance? Okay, so her first phase is like abundance, and her second phase here is destruction. So what's her third phase when she goes Super Saiyan? So, I'm afraid Trailblazers are gonna have to wait to find It's gonna be both. It's just, it's just both, isn't it? She uses both, because you can see both of the... But if you go back... Wait, hold on, no, no, no. Go back, go back a few frames. Yeah, you got... You got the abundance losers and the destruction losers, so I'm pretty sure it's just a combination of the two. But either way, that's cool. Three freaking phases, man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> More forgotten all! Oh wait, we get a Yukong too, right? Oh. Yeah, now we're wait, so, so just, just three more, we, is it just three more levels? That's not all. And if we complete them, we get a Yu, uh, Yukong, right? All memories of Sienjo stage one. Sta oh, stage one. Can wait, what? The four -star character, Yukong. <laughs> wait a minute. Is the wait? Hold on. I should probably listen to what they're saying. <laughs> hold Bacon. on. What? Forgotten Hall update. <laughs> In version one point two, the brand new memories of Sienjo, the voyage of Novice's trigger, will be arriving. Yeah, now we're talking. That's wait not a minute. At all. After clearing the Forgotten Hall memories of Sienjo stage one, so wait. Trailblazers can obtain. Is it just a brand new Forgotten Halls? We can just do another fifteen of them, and when we do the first one, we get a Yukong. Is that what you're telling me? That's kind of amazing. Doesn't mean we get like another like heaps of primos, unless they change the amount you can get. Because usually every three stars you get, so basically every time you fully clear one level, you get two hundred. You get two hundred um, salad jades, which is crack. That's crack. If that's true, then holy shit, they're being very generous with us. The simulated universe oh, shit. will also be receiving an world update seven? in the form of world seven. More simulated universe? And, the and new, new relics. Okay, hold on. Let's have a look at these. Rutilant Arena increases the wearer's crit rate by how much? It doesn't say how much. Okay. When a wearer's current crit rate is equal to or greater than a certain percentage, the wearer's basic attack and skill damage. Oh, that's just the that's just the opposite of the uh, the currency we have, right? Hold on, let me let me check real quick. Yeah, this one right here, the uh, inert soul sado. This is the, exactly the same, except it increases your uh, ultimate and follow up attack. I wonder who that would be better for. But we've also got this one here, broken broken kill increases. Oh, increases the effect. Uh, whereas effect res. That's great because we you actually can't get effect res as a main stat on any relic piece. So having a set that actually gives you that is really nice. And if you oh if you have if the when a wearer has effect res is equal to or greater than a certain percentage, hopefully it's not too hard to get. Or allies crit damage increases. That actually sounds really good. If the effect res it requires is actually reasonable, that would be mega good actually like you could give that to natasha so she becomes like a, a team a crit damage buffer for the whole team i like that that sounds great and also effect res is probably the most universally liked stat too because um resisting um debuffs and such you know like imprisonment is 
huge. Oh. Trailblazers can obtain the brand new cavern And relic. new relics. Okay. Let's talk about these too. So, lo uh, wait, how do you pronounce this? Long of us, long of us disciple. Increases max HP, okay. When the wearer is hit or the HP is consumed by an ally, by an ally, including themselves, the crit rate increases for a certain number of turns. This effect is stackable. Okay, so that's, oh, oh, that's made for destruction characters. That That's made for, like, Blade and um, Arlen, right? Surely, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So that's actually really good. A crit rate um, boost from that means you could, like, have a crit damage body and, um... You won't have to worry about crit rate because hopefully that hopefully it's generous with the amount it gives you. It is stackable, but we don't know how many stacks you get from that. This could be good on Clara. I'm not sure. It's only if you get hit or if your HP is consumed. So you need to be able to influence the way you get hit. You know, like if you have March use a shield on Clara, um, that increases Clara's uh, chance of getting hit. And also if you use her ult on top of that, you know that might be good, but I'm not sure. And you've got Messenger traversing hacker space. So, uh, Silver Wolf? Increase the speed. Okay, yeah, it's not telling us how much we get. I don't know how much that's gonna be. Hopefully it's a decent amount. Hopefully it's not like, just two or something, you know? Something really pathetic like that. When the wearer uses the ultimate on any ally, including themselves, speed for all allies increases for a certain number of turns. This effect cannot be stacked. Wait. So that only, that only works for, char for characters that have ultimates that like, affect the party, that like, you target the party with. So like Yukong, Asta, Japard. Is that it? That's all I can think of. Oh, Natasha, Bailu. Yeah, there's not many that, that, that actually can use that. Okay. Hmm. It's definitely gonna be a good piece though, because increasing speed is crack. Kafka and Yukon companion missions? Who looking forward to doing Kafka's? Version 1.2. Oh my god. Return of the gift of Odyssey check-in event. Again? During the event? Wait, we've gotten this every patch now. Free temples. Holy shit, is that gonna be a trend? Are we getting are we gonna get free temples every patch? Because if we do, holy shit. Yo, Genshin freaking take notes. Why can't Genshin do that, dude? <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Hell yeah, let's go. When the crew fought the Doomsday Beast and Kokolia, Welt was watching from the sidelines. This will be the first time we see him on the battlefield. That's so true. Watch your back, Fantilia. <laughs> yeah, I'm, okay, let's be real. With Welt here, we've got nothing to worry about. We're talking about a man who plays with black holes, man. Come on. Bye, so guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that's the end. Interesting. Okay, so what do you guys think of all that? Those that are, wait, we're not done. The Interastropius Corporation has just declared the what? latest galactic bounty hunt, calling for the capture of the Stellaron Hunters. According to reliable sources, Kafka and Blade are expected to appear what? at the upcoming cosmic refreshment. Wait, what? Places, what? <laughs> which poses a high risk of destruction. We urge the public what? to remain vigilant. We will announce the whereabouts what? of the outlaws in due time. What is this? For your assistance in bringing them to justice. Uh, okay, a global team. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a freaking, it's like a, it's like a gather event thing. Oh, oh, that's cool. I like that. That's neat. Anyways, what do you guys think of this live stream? Are you looking forward to 1.2? Who are you guys rolling for? Me personally, I'm rolling just for Kafka because, because mommy. But there's also Blade and Luca. His name is right. Luca to look forward to. And man. They both look really sick. Frickin' Hoyoverse, thank you so much. Frickin' love your games. Looking forward to the next patch, and holy shit, I hope you guys are too.